This is in a construction of the upper wing for the feet on 90. I like laying out the parts, have a look at the little parts and read the instructions and see what I have to do. So for the special instructions for this one, as we have these plywood spars going to there to there and what I need to do is actually I need to notch two of these for so those two and one for the right one for the left wing um, before I actually put the the ribs on so I'd say what I'll do is I'll, I'll pin out in the trailing edge there, get the trailing edge done. I'll actually put this in place. I'll actually draw where they join and then I'll sand it out and place them in to make it the right depth. And I'll do that for that one as well. What I'll do is also I'll mark these, I'll make these three and four, the one and two on the left, then set them aside. So it's just a bit of pre-work before actually doing the ribs. Um, so you've got a lot of rib sections. Um, so we've got the, set, the different center ribs. Uh, trail the edge. These are all the spars. What I plan to do with the spars is I measured this angle here using a tool. Uh, where is it? Is. Using this tool. So it allows you to get the degrees of it. Now I've got a drop saw in the garage. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll tape these together. Um, it's got a three degrees off the center. So I'll cut this at three degrees uh, for all of them, get the right length. And I'll cut again another three degrees. So that'll be, so when I actually put them into length, regardless of the drawing, um, if the spars are all the same length, then I need, all I need to do is actually have that straight on that spar and that'll be fine. And I'll all line up because this is a flat wing. So what's the plan to do there? And yeah, okay, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll go away and then do that and I'll come back. So I've actually cut the spars to length and actually put a three degree angle on the edge. But it's really about four degrees, but that's okay. Close enough. Now, so I've actually uh, pinned down the trailing edge and I've uh, built up the, the spar, this direction. And now um, I've actually put a few ribs in to get it all set. Um, now I actually start gluing the ribs to the spar and trailing edge. Um, for this kit, I'm actually using PVA glue to do the gluing. This um, last kit was um, CA. Super glue. Yeah. I've been to a lot of builders, experienced builders, and they, they mostly use PVA. Um, and see why. It smells better. It's more forgiving. It gives you more time to fix errors. If anything, it, should, it takes a lot longer to dry. So what you do is just glue up something. I need to do something else for a little while and come back and do the next part. So all I'm doing now is putting the PVA on the two sides so they've been glued. I put it in the ribs in the place. Oops. I need to go get my pins. which were down the other end. I've already done the other end. That's because, and I filmed it, but the audio was really bad, so I'll try again. Okay. So, I'm gonna place, make sure that the ribs are against. The trailing edge. So nice and tight. These T pins come in handy and hold things down a lot easier. Easy uh get my 
number three in square. It's great for this. Not expensive. Make a lot of difference. So you have the next room, and then just continue on. With this glue, you can take your time. It's a bit warm tonight, so it's actually gluing a lot faster. But still gives me time. Anybody has some tips out there? Well, I'm happy to hear about them. Picked up a lot of good tips from a few of the builders I've been talking to. You might hear a few strange noises or a bit of thumping or some shadows under the bench. That's my dog, so I've got a three border collies. And it will keep me company while I'm building. Get in the road. Get on foot. Eat the balsa scraps that fall on the ground. So this is really, so as you can see, it's pretty important to actually get your form work up before you're doing ribs. Get it all nice and square to the plan. Just makes it, things go really well. And as you can see, I've laid all the parts out previously, so I don't have to hunt for them. So there's the ones that I notched out. the plywood that actually goes on wings uh, so on this this pier will actually be a, I don't know, a wing member that actually joins both the wings and keeps them stable Anyway, well, I won't go through the whole process, I'll just probably stop now, and then when I get to the next part, so I'm just gluing all the ribs together, and then I'll do some trailing edge, leading edge, then some, uh, I suppose, leading edge uh, panelling. Now that the ribs are all in place, uh, what I'm going to do is put the Rest of the trailing edge, it's about this other piece, which goes on the back here. So what I'm going to do, I don't really cut these pieces to size, I leave a bit hanging over. What I'll do is, when I've got all this done, I'll just saw it there, and then I'll actually just sand it back flat. Uh, always worry that I'm going to cut something too short. So it's a little bit extra work, but. So what I'm going to do is just mark where these ribs join. So I know where to put the glue on the piece of wood. So now I'll be generous with the glue.
I'll have to go a bit quicker tonight. This book a bit warm in there, so glue is drying a little bit faster than usual. That's right, I'm going to do both sides now. Like this one spot on one side, hopefully the other side makes up for it. Mr. Rib, I should put the N1 on. Otherwise. Oh, that's good spotting. That's the good thing about the PVA glue, it gives you that time to spot errors like this and fix them up. up. Which I find working on planes um, quite a bit of a stress relief, really. Like, um, I suppose it's just a little bit of a buzz out of creating something, too. But it's certainly be a lot easier just by almost ready to fly. What all? A couple of hours together bring the motor and then fly but I'll probably do that for a couple of but if my trainer dies I'll probably just get a get almost ready to fly one to get the flight experience okay now we'll put it in place Mark it up, that's where all the glue matches. What I'm just going to do is just pin this down. pins you want I guess. But notice the actual glue sticks onto the ends. It makes it harder 
next time to put them in. In the structure, you actually meant to put the top spar on, then put the trailing edge, but it hasn't dried it, so I'm just doing this. So, so what I'll do is I'll do this both sides of trailing edge and the ribs, and then I'll call it a night. Let it glue overnight, and I'll, it's Friday, so I'll, in the morning, probably put the leading edge on and put the panel on. And uh, do my Sunday chores and come back and do some more. Okay, that's it. So, um, yeah, I'll just do the other side and then I'll call it a night. I'll be back.